and in this video we are going to discuss some more important questions for your viva for computer science practical like in the last video we discussed the questions related to classes and objects constructors inheritance and all so here there are few more questions which you should prepare regarding classes like one could be what are static variables and how they are different from instance variables now what are static variables when you define a class and we define data members in those those normal data members are called instance variables because we have the definition of an object as instance of a class so like if i have a class student where i have int roll number char name 20 so that roll number and name are the instance variables because as i create an object of the class it will allocate memory for roll number and name for each and every student separately but we have special kind of variables for which you need to write static in front of that for example if i want to take passing marks i can have any number of students but passing marks for all students should be same so i need a static variable i can write static in passing marks that means memory for static variables is allocated only once any number of objects you have thus the main difference is that for instance variables memory is allocated again and again whenever an object of the class is created whereas in case of static variables memory is allocated only once and it is shared by all the objects of the class then it could be asked like what are friend functions although these questions are never asked in theory but you know it is viva so examiner might ask you these questions so you should be properly prepared for that now if the examiner asks you what are friend functions so from 12th class point of view you can just answer like friend functions are those functions which are not member of any of the class they are not member of any class but they are friend to that class and thus they can access the private members of that class for which they are declared as friend so we can declare a function within a class as a friend function of that and that friend function can access that class private members so that's friend functions then what is the use of this pointer now this question is important both from viva point of view as well as from theory point of view this pointer is an inbuilt pointer which stores the address of current object that's the definition what does this mean so this means like if i have made a class student and i declare variables like student a b c in main and when i write a dot input how does class come to know that where the values have to be stored so that dot actually sends the address of a in a special pointer named this pointer and when you access roll number name and marks they are actually stored in the memory of a similarly when it comes back and calls for b dot input then address of b goes to this pointer and the data is stored at the address of b so basically this pointer is a pointer which stores the address of that object with which you have your dot operator for which we are calling the function so that the memory to be used to process the object should be for that particular object for which the function is being called so that's the use of this pointer then is what are inline functions now inline functions is again an important thing where the function is pasted at the place of function call during the compilation of the program this is the definition because normally what happens is when you call a function like if i call a function from main then the control jumps to that function then executes the function and comes back to the place from where it was called this is what happens in case of normal functions but when we have small functions then we can make them inline by default whatever functions you define within the class are inline but the outline functions that means when you declare the function inside the class but you define it outside they are outline functions they are not treated as inline now when they are treated as inline what happens is when your program is compiled the code of the function is pasted at the place of function calls so wherever i have called the function the code is pasted at that place so during execution no jumping no branching is required the code is executed in one go so that is the point of inline functions but you have a restriction that functions containing loops and multiple function calls cannot be treated as inline functions
then can be asked like what is the default access specifier for members of a class like if you don't write anything private public or protected what is the basic visibility mode or access specifier for the members of a class that is private so if we don't mention anything all members are taken as private then it could be asked like what are static functions so like we have static variables which depend on the class same way we have static functions normally when you have a function inside the class you can call it with name of the object like a dot input but you never call as student dot input so we can't call the function with name of the class we call it with name of the object but static functions are those functions which can be called using name of the class so those are few questions related to classes then the next important topic for viva is pointers and arrays so definitely you could be asked like what's a pointer so pointer is a special variable which is used to store address of another variable so that is a pointer and how do you declare it we write the data type star pointer name so if i write int star p that means p is a pointer which can store address of an integer variable so this int doesn't say that p is an integer it says that p is a pointer which can store address of an integer variable then how is a pointer related to an array basically whenever you create an array the name of the array itself is a pointer when i write int a5 memory is allocated for five integers but a itself is the base address of the array from your array starts in the memory so a pointer is related to an array because the name of the array itself is a pointer to the array which holds the address of first element of the array what are multi dimensional arrays when we have more than one dimensions in an array it's called multi dimensional so we can have 2d array that is two dimensional we can have three dimensional like a 2d array of size 3 by 5 is used to represent a matrix of size 3 by 5 but if i have an array of like 3 cross 4 cross 5 that means i have three matrices each of size 4 by 5 i can have up to 4 5 6 dimensions as well then what is a double pointer now when we have a pointer and you take another pointer by putting double star with this telling that this pointer is not going to store address of a variable rather this pointer is going to store address of another pointer So when you write double star that means this pointer will store address of some pointer so that's called double pointer and if you take you know three stars that means it will be a triple pointer which is going to store address of a double pointer and like this as you increase the number of stars the level of pointer will increase but they don't go into this much of depth so you should just know about double pointers then which symbol is used to access a data member or member function using pointer to an object So now if you have a pointer to an object with that pointer if you have to call the functions we don't use dot the symbol used for that is in direction operator which is represented by a hyphen and a greater than sign so if i have to call input i'll not write p dot input i'll write p hyphen greater than that is p arrow input so to access the members we use in direction operator and your dot sign is called member of operator then comes data structures now in data structures we basically have your star q and link list in your syllabus so it can be asked first of all what is data structures so what is data structures is the way of arranging the data and defining the operations you can perform on it then we can ask you about different data structures like it could be asked differentiate between a stack and a queue so if i have to differentiate between a stack and a queue so stack is a data structure where we perform lifo last in first out the element which is inserted at the end is the one which is deleted first and q is fifo f i f o first in first out the one which is inserted first is the one which is deleted first and every time elements are added at the end and deleted from the beginning whereas in stack elements are added on the top and deleted from the top itself then what is abstract data type so stack and queue both have abstract data type and the meaning of abstract data type is that the data type which is defined by the operations performed on it so like stack and queue are defined by the operations we perform in them so they are also called as abstract data type what is linked list now linked list is a way of storing data in the memory in non contiguous locations like arrays are stored in contiguous locations linked list is i might not have so much of contiguous space 
so we create different chunks in the memory different parts in the memory and they are related with each other like the first part stores the data and it stores a pointer that pointer holds the address of the next location where you have data and there also we have data and a pointer which stores the address of next location and so on that's called linked list if you want to give a proper definition you could say linked list is a collection of nodes where each node has two parts one is data and one is a pointer to the next node of the list then what do you understand by dangling pointers so if we have some pointers which have an address but that address is not allocated to your program and that pointer is said to be dangling pointer differentiate between static and dynamic queue or it could be asked like difference between static and dynamic uh, stack so static queue is when you implement the queue operation with the help of an array and dynamic queue is when you implement with the help of a linked list means when we allocate and deallocate the memory depending upon the requirement then it will be asked this is very important that what is the use of new and delete keywords these are very important keywords so new is used to allocate memory during the execution of the program so if you have to allocate memory when your program is already running we have new keyword for that and in case you want to deallocate memory when your program is running it is delete keyword for that then another major topic in c++ is file handling this comes for 6 marks in your theory exam and questions can be asked in viva about this because your project is dependent on file handling only so your project which you have submitted the project file be it school management library management shop or whatever basically we are using file handling in that we are storing the records in the file we are reading the records from the files so obviously questions are to be asked for file handling it could be like which classes are used to work on files we have if stream if we only have to input of stream to write into the file f stream which allows you to perform read and write both what are the methods to open a file using of stream there are two ways to open a file using an object of of stream one is called constructor method and one is with the help of open function so if i have of stream space f f is the object you can give the file name in round brackets itself it will open the file that is called constructor method and second option is you write f dot open and then in round brackets double quotes you give the file name it will open the file so two methods are constructor method and open function what is the difference between ios out and ios app ios stands for input output system these are the modes of opening the file we have various other modes like ios in ios no replace ios no create and all but it could be asked what's the difference between these two so out means that you are opening the file to write in that so we are opening it for write purpose but it will clear the previous contents of the file so if something is there in the file it will be deleted and you will get a blank file to start with whereas in case of ios app whatever was there in the file that will remain and i can add more contents to it so ios app is append and this is out when is uh, what, what is a get and put pointer in a file so a get pointer in a file is which stores the address like from where you have to read the next value in the file and put pointer stores the address of the location where we are going to write the next value in the file so get is to read and put is to write which function is used to move get pointer in a file to some specific location so if you have to move the get pointer somewhere in the file the function for that is seek g so we write file object dot seek g and then in brackets you have to give the byte number where you have to move the get pointer what is the use of f dot tell g tell g tells me where the get pointer is right now so it returns the byte number where the get pointer is at current time similarly tell p is there to tell the position of put pointer and as we have seek g we have seek p to move the put pointer now it could be also asked like what is the difference between ios beginning and ios current beg means beginning cur is current both are used with the seek function because we you give the byte number and then it is optional to tell this offset there are three possible values in offset beginning current and end if i don't write anything by default it's from beginning like if i write f dot seek g in bracket 10 so it will move to byte number 11 because the first byte is 0 so it will move from the beginning but if i write ios cur with that means wherever the cursor is right now in the file wherever the get pointer is it should move 10 points ahead from there 
and if you write iOS end then you have to give minus 10 means we need to come back from the end so these are the offsets which can be used with seek g or seek p so that's about file handling so these are the major topics which are there in c++ and about which questions can be asked in the viva so these are few of the important questions as per my view there could be some more as well but this is the major thing which covers everything so just prepare this well just understand it properly in case there is any doubt do write in the comment section i'll get back to you and i'll be uploading the next videos which would be how to prepare for the theory exam and there i'll be telling you how to solve different parts of the paper and what should be the procedure and what should be the sequence of solving the questions so we will be doing in the next videos but for the time being prepare for your viva well and all the best thank you